Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to complete a function table and then how to graph what we see on the table. Okay, the first question I'll do the work by hand and then I'll show you how to use Desmos to get these questions done. So the first one, uh, it says complete the it says complete the table and then graph the function. We are working on IXL S14, complete a table and graph a linear function. Since they are all going to be linear, all I need is a two point. If I have two points to plot, the line is going to be done. So, uh, what I start with, I, s I plug in zero, I plug in one, two, and three, and find the answer in this function. And then those numbers are going to be in the boxes. So, f of x equals 3x is my main function. I see 2x term, one on the left side, one on the right side. When I plug in 0, I'm going to plug in that 0 for both sides. So, for this one here, the value of f of not x anymore, it is equal to 0, equals 3 times x. So, 3 times 0 is just 0 that's my first box okay the answer is gonna be zero zero goes to zero and then I'll plot it uh, and then let's see what one goes to if I plug in one for x the value is going to be three times x three times one is just three let's see what happens if I plug in two for x it becomes three times x but that value is two now three times two is six and then if I plug in 3 for x, 3 times x, which is the same number, this time, 9. So I have four answers, 0, 3, 6, 9. 0, 3, 6, and 9. So since I know that I'm dealing with a linear function, where is that? It said it over here somewhere. I'm dealing with a linear, it's going to be a straight line, that means all I need is two points. You can pick any of these two points, like 0, 0, I'm looking at the boxes, and pick another one, 2, 6. Doesn't matter which two points you select, because all of the other points are going to lie on this line anyways. So 0, 0 is the first point that we are going to plot over here, and then 2, 6, go over 2 units and up 6 units. And then if you want to test it out, you can just look at this point. Over 1, up 3 is already on the line. All of the other points are going to lie on the line anyways. So we submit it, and then move on to the next one. Let's skip a level, and then see if they get harder. Okay, now let's see this one. Negative 4x plus 37. f of x equals negative 4x plus 37. I get on Desmos, I type my function is, I type my function negative, okay, wait a second, negative 4x, plus 37, okay, let's just get rid of this, okay, we have the function here, let's just zoom out a little, and then, I wanna add a table, okay, let's see the table the values I have for X is 7 8 and 9 right the values for X again make sure they match X values are 7 8 and 9 okay how was this? Let me see. Okay, there was a way to kind of like graph that. Uh, hmm. It's not going to complete it. Okay, this was for graphing. Let's just forget that table method. So let's just do it this way then. F7, F8, and F9. Okay, F7. Let's stay consistent. It's the same method as I was doing in the others. F8, and then F9. The table was when we don't have the graph. So 
we have the answers. If we plug in 7, we have 9. If we plug in 8, we have 5. If we plug in 9, we have 1. So let's just complete the table. 9, 5, 1. And then click to select the points on the graph. Go over 7, up 9. That's the first point. And then let's plot this. 8, 5, over 8, up 5. And then the third is 9, 1, over 9, up 1. So it doesn't matter which two points you graph. Just pick any of the two points, like 7, 9, and 8, 5, and then graph your line. Uh, if you want to double check, you can get back on Desmos and then see if they match, and then you can submit your question. Okay, now, this is, again, you can either use Desmos over here, or you can do it by hand by writing everything, or you can just look at the numbers and see if you can figure out. This, like, the meaning of, of the right side is, when you plug in a number, which is X, all you have to do to get the answer is doing plus one to that number. So if you're plugging in three, we will do plus one. The answer is going to be three plus one, four. For the next one, I'll end up with four plus one, which is five. For the third one, plug in nine over here for x, nine plus one, the answer is going to be ten. If it is as simple as this, you can just, you don't even need anything. And then all you have to do is plotting those points any two of them 3 4 and 4 5 for example 3 4 and 4 5 or you can just double check your work by using desmos and see if these are the answers that you're gonna end up with let's try to make it a little harder it's not even any harder so this one is a good question though okay it says f of x equals negative 3, right? Let's think about what that means. So that function tells me no matter what I plug in, the answer is always, always going to be negative 3. I can plug in negative 9, I can plug in negative 7, I can plug in negative 5 or 6. Regardless, the answer is always going to be negative 3 because there's no x. I'm not going to plug in anything. So it's always negative 3 because what this tells me over here remember in the first video of this week I told you that the y and f of x is the same right if y and f of x is the same then y is negative 3 too so all of the y values are negative 3 there's no variable involved you're not plugging anything unlike the other questions this is even easier you just need to realize that you're not gonna plug in anything all of the no answers are gonna be negative 3 so I drop down all of those points, negative 9, negative 3, and then negative 7, negative 3. You have the line. That's it. How is it in... Oh, because I typed, I didn't type them in. Okay. So they're all negative 3, and then I have the line. Let's see. These are not... This is not even any harder. It tells me to do plus 4 add 4 to all of these numbers you'll end up with your y values and plot any of any two of those points and then this is the same add 4 to the numbers add 4 to the numbers it's still the same okay yeah and then this is the challenge zone and it's not even okay graph this function f of x equals x plus 4 let's go to desmos and then click to select points on the graph let's use this point 0 4 0 4 is up here and then find another point like this what's this 2 6 go over to up 6 we have the graph that's it okay or you can just use the ways that we learned how to, about how to graph so this one you start from positive 15 oh hmm it's not going to be that easy. Use that as for this question. So that's all about graphing. If you just copy and paste it on Desmos, you'll see the line. Pick two points, graph those two points over here, and then you're good to go. Uh, thanks for watching, and let me know, guys, if you have any questions.